Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to showcase my French and Any War project. It's what I've been doing for the last couple of years, painting all these miniatures, making all the trees, and uh, so forth. This is an overview of the uh, project um, on the Cigar Box Miniature uh, Winter Scrublands. Okay, so here's a picture of the uh, village and the Indians and the foreground in the bottom right hand corner and uh, since the last time I did one of these I have uh, painted quite a number of French so this is the interior of the village uh, I scratch built all those wigwams uh, I made those pens uh, from wire and <clears throat> and different uh, other materials uh, barbecue skewers uh, the uh, river there obviously is too small and we'll be making a larger river in the future uh, but that was from an old company called uh, tactical conflict systems got that back ooh, about almost 30 years ago at an historic on the uh, hills obviously are are uh, the ones I've made before out of wood those are uh, some of the French right there uh, and the right hand side uh, uh, now those are the rangers I've painted I believe that uh, there's a uh, couple of rangers right there between the wood lines there uh, and it's about 30 of those guys close up of the rangers Now, there's a close look of uh, the French uh, Côte de Bois. I, I may be mispronouncing that. Uh, the Frontiersmen. And close up of the uh, the Indians, like the uh, Abenaki warriors uh, and their war paint and uh, armed with various weapons of like bow and muskets, tomahawks, war clubs and the uh, interior of their village uh, kind of a ground level here I even have a captured British guy with uh, being tomahawked all right this is an overview of the other side of the battle um, right hand side is the French so the left hand side is the British here's a close-up of uh, the French line um, first first regiment in the front is a regular line then you got uh, the blue coats, which are the grenadiers, and then behind them, what you're seeing there are the marines. Uh, more grenadiers there. It's one of the very few uh, mounted troops there, which is the officer of the marines. There's a line regiment there. I need to re-glue that uh, flag. Uh, pardon my messiness on that flag. There's two more regiments of, of French line, plus a uh, Mount Calm uh, right there in the middle, uh, flanked by two French officers. Uh, so here's the French artillery. I know they're in red coats, but uh, the British artillery is in blue coats. Go figure. Uh, that's the way their uniforms were back then. Here's some more French Marines in skirmish order. All right, here's the uh, British Army right here. Uh, the line in the front is the Highlanders. Uh, and then you've got uh, three uh, full regiments uh, behind them. I've included the uh, Grenadiers in each one of the regiments on the right hand side. And, uh, you've seen these guys before on the hill uh, you'll notice that on the right hand side is Wolf uh, who's dismounted uh, with a pamphlet in his hand and he's got a, a grenadier officer and a, a mounted officer um, aide waving his hat 